Hey everybody, it's Dave Vecdale, LearningVideo.com. So I want to just tell you about two hard drives in my new computer build that have um, died, or I think I've died, and maybe you guys can help me out, troubleshoot it a little bit further, and I can kind of show you the stuff that I've worked on, or tried to troubleshoot to see what the problem is. Um, this is no way I'm not being ungrateful for Asus coming out and building this, and Samsung actually supplying the, the drives for it as well, which was very nice of them. Was, a lot of money involved in terms of them doing that so I don't want to see I'm ungrateful but I do want to like educate you guys um, possibly there being an issue there or um, maybe you guys can help me troubleshoot this one drive a little bit further so the first one that I think died was this uh, 512 Samsung 960 Pro um, if you look on B&H uh, they're pretty expensive like 300 bucks in the one terabyte version um, that I also have is around $630. So two very expensive drive. Uh, the 512 I use for the operating system and the one terabyte I use for the scratch drive. So what happened with the 512 about a month ago, um, it was a DPC watchdog violation error, blue screen of death in Windows, and it just died. Um, the, and that's where I had my operating system. Lost a few days work because uh, I had to rebuild it um, my restore point and my system image wasn't done correctly, so I had to go back and redo all installing the programs, which was kind of a pain. Um, so basically, they did a quick turnaround time. They gave me a ticket number, um, and but they didn't ex explain what went wrong with it. They didn't say I was an idiot and there's actually nothing wrong with it, and they just sent me a refurbished unit, which maybe they do. I don't know. Um, but there was they didn't say what happened to it. You know, was it electrical issue? There was a surge going through it or nothing. And when you go to these websites like Amazon and B&H and you look at the reviews, I've kind of gone through some of them and I don't see anybody else complaining about, you know, like it died after a month. Um, I don't see any of that. So maybe I'm not doing this correctly. But just the other day, um, the one terabyte version died. Um, which is kind of a shame. So basically what I, I did, I, I did several things. You know, first off, after it died, I opened up the Magician software. And this one scans all for all Samsung drives, and it shows all your other drives as well. But it couldn't find it. And right, I was like, okay. And then you can't find it in, like, File Explorer. So I lost my S drive here. Right now, you can see it because I replaced it with one of my older SSDs, the scratch drive. And then I looked at disk part. Uh, couldn't find it there. I looked in the UEFI. Couldn't find it there. I looked in the um, disk management. Couldn't find it there. Um, I, I think I've looked in just about every single place you can do to find to see if it's there. And I basically tried to reseat the drive um, a couple of times, and I've swapped it out with the other drive, the other M.2 drive that's on the motherboard. Because if you go to the Asus uh, X299, it's got two M.2 slots. There's one under the seat sink, and there's one like right there. So I swapped them out, and it wasn't the port going into the motherboard. Um, it was the card. The card... The problem followed the card, so it wasn't the port issue. So I guess my question is to you guys, is there anything else I can try besides looking at the UEFI? I looked everywhere under the boot menu and anywhere else I could find um, to find the actual drive. Uh, disk management, disk apart, uh, what was the other one? Um, the magician software, couldn't find it anywhere. I tried swapping the drives out. Um, I can't think of anything else to do. Because basically what happened is under, um, right here, there was a blue icon right next to it when I just basically woke the computer up from sleep. And there was a blue question mark like right where my mouse is, basically right on that icon. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know. Um, I'll give it a try um, before I do another um, Samsung return. Uh, luckily, again, they have a five-year warranty on these, so it's in I'll just lose it for about a week because their turnaround time is pretty good. But uh, if you have any suggestions, just let me know. All right, thanks. Bye.